guys, this is Pa here, and welcome to a new series that we're starting today on the channel. And today, we are starting Stardew Valley. So yeah, I've been meaning to play this for a while, and uh, I've never played it before, so this is going to be interesting. See how this is. And um, yeah, this is cool. So if you've never heard of Stardew Valley, um, it's actually kind of like a... If anything, kind of like a remake of an old game that was on the Super Nintendo back years and years ago. Um, as far as I believe, it's not by the same developers, but it's like a, it's sort of like a reimagining of the same game. Uh, and that game was called Harvest Moon. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna let's let's jump into it then. So uh, I guess we're just gonna start a new game here, and I believe we're gonna start our start, and we're gonna sort of create our character. And kind of customize. So I guess we're going to put our name in here. So we've got obviously our, our name, the farm name, and our favourite thing. So hmm. So I guess we're just going to pop in. I think actually, if I remember, I think farm name would be your surname. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to put in uh, my actual first name, which if you didn't know, is Marcus. <laughs> so my name is Marcus Parr. And uh, farm name. So I guess we're going to pop par in here. Let's just pop that in. And, um, oh, actually, I've got an idea. I've got an idea here. Just to change it up a little bit. And I think, haha, yeah, we're going to do this. We're just going to put Pardew. So Stardew Valley, Pardew Valley. That's probably what I'm going to call the name of this episode. <laughs> That's going to be pretty cool. So um, what's my favourite thing? Um, not too sure, actually. I'm going to think of something. So we need to do, uh, sort of pick our character here. So I guess... Uh, oh, that's to move the character around. Obviously, we can choose between male and female. And then you've got your skin here and accessories and, and obviously customise it. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm, I'm going um, to skip ahead slightly. Just so I'm going to uh, kind of create my character. Because I think it's going to take a while here. We're probably, it looks like we've got quite a lot of... Yeah, we've got a lot of things to go through. So I'm going to go for it all. Decide what I want to look like and how my character wants to look and things like that. Definitely going to keep my animal preferences cat. Because I have two cats in real life. <laughs> so yeah, so let's jump ahead. And uh, until my character is complete. And we're back and we are done. So as you can see, I have put my favourite thing as music because, uh, yeah, that's the thing I decided. Other than doing YouTube and making videos, <laughs> the one thing I love outside of that is listening to music, especially sort of rock and metal music. Hence my character as well. So uh, if you have a look here, so I chose this shirt because it looks like he's got like a bit of a skull on it or something like that. So, uh, you know, I tend to wear like band t-shirts and things like that. And of course, if you didn't know, in real life, I have uh, my hair's quite long you know I'm a typical kind of rocker and uh, I thought I'd give my character a little bit of a beard sometimes I'm a bit of stubble you know <laughs> but a bit of a beard you know a bit of a bit of a farmer far farmer so <laughs> farmers they tend to have <laughs> these farmers they tend to have a bit of a beard don't they yeah <laughs> so yeah and I've done the rest of it yeah it's all uh, as it is so next we need to just decide the type of farm so we've got the standard farm riverland farm forest farm Hilltop Farm and Wilderness Farm. Uh, ooh, that one looks quite... But wait, at night the monsters come out. Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure. Might just go for the standard one, and then maybe maybe down the line we could start a new farm or something like that. I believe it. this is the sort of game that can last for a while as well. You know, you can do a lot in that before it kind of uh, essentially comes to, like, an end or anything. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go for the standard one then. All uh, right, let's continue then. Okay, looks like we've got a bit of an intro here. I think I've seen some things before. Ah! And for my very special grandson. Let's do a bit of a voice here. <laughs> Sounds like I'm a smoker. I want you to have the sealed envelope. <coughs> for dramatic effect. <laughs> here, have an envelope. <laughs> no, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Come on. <laughs> when that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. XX years later, 20 years later, maybe? 
Okay, looks like we're <laughs> looks like we're in a kind of I guess our day job. <laughs> Look at those lights, like work and rest. So uh, it's not a bit of terminated. <laughs> looks like we got Woody there from Toy Story. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are we then? Life's better with Jojo. <laughs> that guy at the end is just a skeleton. He's, he's just dead. <laughs> uh, there we are. There we are. <laughs> so, um, okay. I'm guessing we maybe just get sick of our day job and open the envelope. And of course, so yeah. Dear, Mar Dear Marcus, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and then moved to a place I truly belong. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi. Say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? <laughs> okay. Who's Lewis? <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out. So I'm guessing, is, well, see, the grandpa has left us the farm, has left of the Pardew farm, <laughs> and we're on our way there, in our bus, going to the countryside, leaving the world and the city behind, to be with nature, <laughs> and grow ourselves some crops and breed animals. Here we are, Stardew Valley, aka Pardew Valley, <laughs> as, we're, as, as we're calling it now. <laughs> And we've got a little birdie on the side. <laughs> okay, right, off the bus we go. So, hello, you must be Marcus. I'm not going to do the voices for everyone, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so, we've got someone called Robin. Hello, hello, Robin. Uh, I'm Robin. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? The local carpenter. Major Lewis, Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Lewis, not Major. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Okay. Is the bus not leaving? <laughs> okay, this place looks a bit of a mess. I thought we were supposed to be tidying up. <laughs> this is Pardew Farm. Hey. Hey, jump for joy! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Okay. So, it looks like we've got a bit of a little building here. And here we are, your new home. <laughs> it's a bit small, but maybe, I guess we kind of maybe build that up, expand it. Ah, the new farmer! <laughs> I might do his voice. I'm no good at vo uh, female voices, to be honest. It sounds really bad. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Oh, Pelican Town, okay. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Okay, well, I'm, I seem to be some sort of celebrity now. <laughs> so, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic. <laughs> that kind of makes me think it's going to be like bad. <laughs> Rustic. That's one way to put it. <laughs> See, she knows. Crusty. Oh, that's a horrible word to describe me like crusty. Makes me think it's oh, it's horrible. Might be a little more apt though. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I like this game already. It's good. Uh, don't listen to her, Marcus. She'll just, she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> I think we'll probably need to do that at some point. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Okay, that could be cool to do. So, um... Oh I, oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Well, it's quite a small... <laughs> I guess we're going to be selling crops and things like that. You're not going to fill that up all in the, uh, in the mailbox. <laughs> Cock-a-doodle-doo. Okay, so... Looks like we're in the house. Okay. Oh, right. Ah, <laughs> go to sleep for the night. I don't think it's night time. <laughs> I think we just woke up. <laughs> right, so we have got... Okay, oh, what's this here then? Uh, what's the controls then? So we can, can we click on that? I think we you have to move around your character and then the, uh, the right stick moves around the cursor. So can we select that? 
Oh, right, we have to go up to it. Uh, ooh, parsnip seeds. New journal entry. You see 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, thank you very much, Mayor Lewis. Very, very kind indeed. Okay, this is how we change our things. Um, so, weather report. Okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, living off the land. Uh, I wonder if this, these are probably going to come in handy. Maybe weather report then. So, living off the land. I don't know. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another cheat tip for ya. For y'all. Now, listen up. This one's going to be for green, for the green, you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Okay. Interesting. What about then the fortune teller? Let's have a look. Welcome to Wellwick's or Wellick. I think it's Wellick, if you can pronounce that well. Right. Wellick's Oracle. The only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Oh, okay. That's not very good for like our first day. <laughs> what about the weather report then? Welcome to KOZU5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And, and now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. I guess we're going outside. Let's, um... Okay, so we're having a bit of a wander now, then. So what do we do here, then? So we've got... Obviously, we've got parsnips, neat seeds. Uh, what are the kind of things we've got, then? We need to just have a look. So we've got, obviously, an, an axe, a hoe, used to dig and... Uh, till soil, right, okay, used to chop wards, uh, used to water crops, it can be refilled at any water source. A pickaxe used to break stones and it can cut grass into hay if you've built a silo. Interesting. So we've got skills here. It looks like we probably improve these as we go along. Uh, oh, right, okay, journal, okay, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to uh, uh, harvest. So cultivate, In introductions. It'll be nice just to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay, so I guess we're going to want to, hmm... So would we use, so that's the hoe, so we're not going to use that. Uh, I think we used, oh right, to get, to get grass away, and, but we haven't got a silo. So what about, do we need to use the axe on that? There we go, yeah, to get the, to collect the wood. There we go, right. Oh, we can use the uh, axe on those as well. And then we want the pickaxe on the stones. Interesting. I guess we're just going to clear some area around here. I guess we want to uh, cultivate the land a bit then. So what was the kind of thing? Um, cultivate and harvest a, a parsnip. Uh, okay, so is that is that all we do? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, what is that? I don't know. But So we've got a parsnip here. So there we go. So we've got uh, a couple of parsnips there. Um, and then we want to, I don't think we've got any water. Oh, no, we do. We do have water. Okay. Is that cultivate and harvest a parsnip? So we want to, I guess it's like doing that. It's said to do that every day. Uh, okay. So let us, uh, let's just have a little, I guess we'll a little wander around here and just see uh, what we've got. What's this over here? Oh, okay, it's uh, a bucket for water. <laughs> it's all about learning the ropes. Of course, if you guys have played this and you've got any kind of tips and tricks for me, just, uh, I, I don't know, it's important things that we could kind of do, then make sure to let me know. I very much appreciate that. Um, be cool, you know, just to get a helping hand. I might, look, I might have a look online, kind of. So what is this then? What is this building? Whatever this once was, it's now in ruins. So I'm guessing we're going to be rebuilding that. Looks like we've got quite a fair bit of land. Ooh, we've got a bit of a cave here. Do we, do we want to go in here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Uh, what's that? So do we use the pickaxe? What is that? Uh... Okay, we don't seem to be seeing anything in here. Can we use the pickaxe on, like, the wall? 
Hmm. Okay, maybe it's uh, something for later on that we could head there. So... Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you can find a way. We definitely need to get this place cleared out. I'll probably do a lot of that outside the video because we don't want to be sitting here just clearing out all this. We've got a lot of we've got some props there or some sort of thing. <laughs> okay, I guess we let's go and wander. Uh, I think that's just, a, just no fence there. We've got trees and all sorts, so we can. Uh, right, let's wander. Let's have a wander out then and uh, maybe meet some locals. What's this say on here? Bus stop. Ah, okay. And Pelican Town is that way. What if we go? I mean, this. Do we just? Can we just get on the bus? <laughs> Imagine if we just got off it and just left, and that, that's it. Game over. Ooh. Do we? We got a leak. Okay, interesting. The bus stop to Calico Desert is out of service. Right. Yeah. Typical. I guess we'll get this other leak over here. Just picking. Uh, picking plants. <laughs> So, right, okay, so we're going to head to Pelican Town. Did I just make a gate? I think I just made it. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I think I've just... I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, right, we just kind of made this... <laughs> Whoops. Uh... I wonder if there's an easy way to get to the map then. So where are we? Can we actually like zoom in or anything? Uh, no. So we've got Willow Lay, home of Emily and Haley. Who's this guy then? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be his voice from now on. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Okay. <laughs> I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Uh, okay, that's all he's got to say. <laughs> Who's this? Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. <laughs> Mama says you're <laughs> not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Okay. Can't think of a voice for him. Uh... <laughs> Who's this? I'm guessing this is uh, his mom. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm, I'm Joe. How did you imagine me? <laughs> what, some sort of alien? I don't <laughs> it's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Okay. I just got no else to say. Um, where's uh? Let's go and speak to him again. Has he got anything else to say? No, nothing else to say. Right. So we've got a few houses. I guess we can kind of like go to people's houses. Uh, ask him for things, I don't know. Help us out. Going into someone's house now. Nah, uh, I don't think we want to kind of do this, really. I mean, you're not good enough friends with Haley to enter her bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I would hope so as well. Um, okay, fine. You know, just wandering people's houses. You don't really want to be doing that. It's not, to, you know, people start to look at you a bit weird. Start to... Ooh, there's a sewer there. I don't think we want to go down there. Probably, maybe maybe later on. <laughs> if we need to come find some sewage. I don't know. Hello! Uh, hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. They've all got the same voice as well. <laughs> Hello, it's nice to meet you. Leah. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so, is this actually closed then now? Oh, no, it's open. Uh, okay, right. So we've got a bit of a bit of a shop here. Hello, it's Mr. Marcus, <laughs> the new farmer. I'm, I'm. As soon as it should be French because he's got the name Pierre. I'm Pierre, owner of the. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> owner of the local general store. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to read it. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is a place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. Uh, okay, we can go in here. <laughs> Who's this person? Uh, hello, you must be Marcus, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Uh, my husband runs the general store here. And you have, and have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Um, okay, is she around? We can go and say hello. Uh... Right, she doesn't appear that she's in here. Hmm. Okay, so... Dog. I <laughs> it just says dog. <laughs> hello, dog. There's no dog around, but... Uh, hello, who's this? Penny. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Uh, no? <laughs> just saying hi. Uh, who's this one? Uh, Mar Maru? Maru? 
Uh, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. And um, we got a trailer over there. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of houses. Um, I don't know where we're sort of heading. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like it's a bit of a friendly bunch around here. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to probably be wandering around a bit more, saying hello to folk. Yeah, you know, kind of figuring out where what's what's what, and uh, ooh, what's that? Is that like a looks like a minecart or something like that? Uh, yeah, like maybe that takes you to the mines then. Hmm. Can't go along there. It looks like we do have to take that. Probably have to end up fixing it or something. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and head to sleep. So yeah, we'll call this the end of this uh, first part then, this first episode of Stardew Valley. So uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, guys, then go ahead head and hit that like button, and you know just shows me your, that you've enjoyed the video and that you definitely want to see more of this. Uh, I plan to you know see how it goes. I, I'd like to make a uh, you know a big series out of this, a long series. So uh, hopefully you'll join me again in uh, more videos and episodes of Stardew Valley. Uh, but yeah, if you're new to the channel of course hit that subscribe button and finally if you'd like to uh follow me on twitter you'll find the link in the description more i'd like to interact with you guys a lot more i don't see enough of it on twitter so i'd like to see you guys you know if you're on twitter then just find me on there at par plays or the link in the description <laughs> but yeah let's not rumble on any further so thank you again for watching guys and until my next video i'm gonna say bye bye for now and i will see you all later <laughs>